So today I want to show you how to do fake camera movements and I myself implement these techniques pretty much 99% of the time on my own projects. Um, I tend to use these movements on shots that were shot on a tripod, but if you shot something handheld and it's stable enough, these things will work just as fine. So I already have clips on my Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. All you want to do is select the clip and make sure you are the first frame of the clip, like at the beginning of the video, because you want the movement to begin from the beginning. If you want it to start from somewhere else, that's fine, but I'm showing from the beginning. So I'm, we're gonna do a zoom in for this one, and all you have to do is click scale, and then all you do is go at the very end of the clip, literally at the last frame. Sorry, my computer is very slow. So go at the last, frame of the clip second last last one there you go and then depending what you want to achieve if you want to do like a small subtle uh, zoom in that's fine um, i tend to go between 5 10 or 15 so for this sake the clip is quite long so let's go one more five and let's play it here yeah that's definitely to my liking good so for this next clip, I'm sitting here and I want it to slide from left to right. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna zoom in a bit. Let's say 120. How much can we work with? Okay, so what we want to do is go to very left and start there. And what you're gonna do is click the position keyframe and again, Go at the end of the clip and maybe what you will do now is go here and because you started it already automatically puts a keyframe for you. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's definitely to my liking. Once again, sorry for my horrible computer specs. Anyways, the last clip I want to do a rotation. So what we will do is zoom into the clip one more time, let's say 125. Okay, so once you adjusted the position scale and stuff like that, then we can start the rotation. <laughs> I'm just doing this for show purposes. I know I'm cropped, but I'm just showing you. So it's starting as zero. So let's see how much we can go Okay, so minus 18. Set the keyframe in there. Go at the end of the clip. And what you want to do, this is probably gonna be a very fast spin, but let's play and see. Yeah, so this clip would work best with if you shot something down or some, some small thing and you want to turn around to it, that's fine. So yeah, and then I'm just going to shit. I'm gonna remove the sound, put in a song, and find the part that you're happy with. Let's say I want to start here. Song definitely fits the scene. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something new today. Um, this was nowhere near a perfect tutorial, but um, as I learn, 
I want to implement my process with you and maybe you'll pick something up, I don't know. But yeah, I enjoyed making this video. Like I said, no one here perfect. Thank you for watching and please consider liking, subscribing. Let me know your thoughts. I have my Instagram in the description. Follow me there. I'm very active there. So if you'd like to reach out to me, please do so. Thank you.